we have already seen what zenith means and what meridian means. Now, let us go to actual coordinate systems which we use to point stars in the sky. On this picture you have you can see zenith is directly above this is the meridian passing through zenith and connecting north and south. Now, we have some star somewhere here let us say on the celestial sphere north is behind this is east south west the horizon for the observer and zenith is above. What can how we can describe position of this star? Now, for example, you can just take an example of a uh, you are going to a ground and telling your friend oh I see a bright star in the sky. The friend asks you where then you will say oh see th there that is a bright star and you can tell that friend. Now, when you point this way you are actually using two coordinates. Suppose think how you, you would describe this in words you would say ok first you point towards north and then turn by this, these many degrees and then turn your hand up by these many degrees and you will reach the sky. Exactly same idea we are going to use. What we will do is we use two coordinates. First coordinate is what we call as azimuth. Azimuth of a star is measured along the ground. We start from north, north is your 0 and then start uh, turning towards east, east is your 90. Then south is 180 and then if you keep turning west is 270, back to north 360 or 0. This full circle along the ground parallel to ground is your azimuth and then the second coordinate is altitude how high the star is from the horizon. So, you go from 0 or if the star is at the horizon you say altitude is 0, if the star is at zenith you say altitude is 90 degrees. So, between 0 to 90 that is the altitude of the star. Here you can see azimuth is shown by the orange arrow you go up to the direction where the star is and then altitude is shown as, as the blue arc. So, this system is either called horizontal coordinate system or sometimes people also call it as altazimuth system standing for altitude azimuth together altazimuth. If you measure distance of the star from zenith, so continue the same arc with along which you are measuring altitude, continue the same arc towards zenith, this is known as zenith distance of the star. So, zenith distance is nothing but 90 minus altitude. Take another example, suppose the star was somewhere exactly on the western uh, side and suppose it is on horizon, then we will say the azimuth of star would be 270 degrees because you have to go from north towards east and altitude of the star since it is on, on horizon will be 0 degrees. This is a very convenient system to use, very intuitive system to use. The problem is the sky keeps turning. So, whatever coordinates you see now after a couple of hours the coordinates will change. Similarly, if you are looking at some sky from say Mumbai and your friend is looking at the same sky at same time in Delhi the coordinates will be different. That is why although altitude and azimuth system is very practical in detail, it is not very useful for measuring recording long term observations.